Hey everybody, so it's Kelly and Sophie in our mini micro micro mini micro mini micro Hobbitot Hobbit mobile Tetris mobile van minivan and today was storage day now for those of you who don't know when you start out van dwelling you take off with what you think is gonna work you make your best guess and then a lot of people have a storage where you go back after a month or two or three or whatever it is and as you figure out what's working what's not working and the idea <laughs> the goal is to purge what's not working what you don't use to make room for what you do use and need and this is what happened <clears throat> I don't know if you all can see um, this is what happened this is not how a purge is supposed to end up. I don't know if you can see. I got out of camera, sorry. As you can see, the main culprit in the situation is the Habitat 4. And this, uh, I was... <laughs> okay, so the Habitat 4, um... I don't know what I was thinking. I... I don't know if they were getting ready to close and I just I really wanted to make this work you know so I grabbed it and I got all this van build stuff and I don't know what's happening clearly it's a little big for the van and I thought it'd be really fun to have a little cabin tent um, when I am staying uh, long term at places and um, or if it's really hot this van gets very hot it's like 20 degrees hotter than the outside but obviously this is not working out so I may try I do have somewhere in here I have compression bags but I don't know this I may need more than compression bags to fit this thing in oh God. sorry about the abrupt cut um, as you know if you've been following me from my first video I've already admitted I don't know how to do video I'm learning as I go and editing and cutting and whatever aesthetics but I just didn't want that to hold me up any longer and you just never know when your last day is gonna be on this planet um, something I learned recently which is a whole other story about why I'm in a minivan micro micro mini micro micro mini hobbit Tetris minivan mobile but I've decided after my storage situation I'm gonna take a break from sucking at van dwelling and take you guys for a little ride. Okay, my friends, what I'm about to show you is a little known secret. The best view of the San Francisco skyline, unless you're in a boat. I'm on the Bay Bridge going into San Francisco. Most people who take this route, ooh and ah, as they are driving on the bridge, trying to get pictures of the city skyline, skyline, and then they get there. Okay, here's a tra treasure island exit. You take treasure island exit in the middle of the bridge. You get off on Treasure Island. Mm. Ah. Turn right where it says Treasure Island. Yes, I used my blinker, you just can't hear it. And you follow the road, and you follow the road to where it says Treasure Island Road. Turn right. You are on an island called Treasure Island. And I'm about to show you the treasure. You see there's a little parking lot on the left. Very small. See, hardly anyone even knows about it. Hardly anyone is even there. You want to turn around at the little cafe or whatever this is. And there's the 
there's your view. The best view, this is as close as you can get to the city without being in a boat. And there it is. This is the best view you can get of the San Francisco city skyline off of Treasure Island. Most people try to get these pictures while they're driving over the Bay Bridge there. And their photos come out like that because they were taking them while driving over the bridge. I'm Kelly Doyle. I suck at Benjamin. Have a beautiful day.